Hello, Sipon over here again. Um, got a new uh, lighter video. Um, today I'm going to compare the American Sipos and the uh, Austrian Imcos. Uh, we all know this type of lighter was used by the US Army under the Second World War. And the German Army used, this, uh, used uh, Imco lighters. Made in Austria. Uh, both lighters uh, uses the regular Sipo fuel. Uh, we all know how the Sipo works. Um, the Imcos is uh, built a little more different than the Sipos. Um, you get more cylindrical shape uh, you get a wind shield that you can adjust and um, they light every single time they never fail so here you get a flame and you can then adjust the oxygen into the chimney and get a much bigger flame so yeah. That's the biggest flame, that's the smallest flame. Um, whoops. The inserter or the fuel chamber is uh, this one. It's much smaller than the Zippo, but it's, um, it holds very much fuel. And the fuel is uh, evaporating much much lower in the Imcos than I do that I do, uh, I do in the Sipos. Um, and the reason for that is when you close the lid, this cap will almost seal the wick, so the fuel doesn't uh, evaporate. Um, another great thing with these lighters is. Uh, you can use this like a candle or like a match if you need to fire some yeah candles or stoves or something uh, and the flint mechanism is uh, pretty nice when you're going to change flint in those type of lighters you open this one Uh, here you can see the flint wheel and the spring and um, all you need to do is move this backwards and then you get your flint here you have also a space for a spare flint underneath there you can see I got a zip of flint in there and when you have changed it, just close this and you get a uh, new flint. Uh, I didn't, don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, Imco went out of business in 2012, so this is um, getting a little bit hard to find. You can uh, find them on eBay, but beware, there are copies is not good at all from China. Uh, I bought several of these from South Korea. They are the Imco brand and made in Austria. Um, but I have the Espit logo on the side. So this is a back stock uh, from the old Imco production line. Um, so if you I'm going to buy this lighter, be sure to get the original one and not the Chinese crappy copies. I got one of the, the copies here. They are almost identical, but this is made of a much cheaper steel and uh, the flint mechanism is bad this doesn't light every time 
another thing if you see this one doesn't have a spear flint but the reason for that is this slot is too small so you can't get the flint in there I can take this one up and you can see so there is not enough space to get a spear flint in there another thing you can see the original one has the Imco pet printed inside of lighter the Chinese one doesn't have that so um, where did that come from I chose from the Chinese crappy one so doesn't matter so if you want to have a Imco lighter buy the original one you can get them used but they are kind of pricey so look for the um, SBIT branded one from South Korea uh, and this one is called um, Imco Triple X Super 6700 so what lighter do I prefer? the nice thing with Imco's the fuel stays in much longer you can yeah three weeks no problem maybe four weeks and uh, it still lights without refilling it so the operation is much much uh, slower on this one um, there are two kind two kind of lighters uh, two totally different lighters so it's up to you to pick which you want like uh, which you like best but um, they're both great lighters so yep that's all I have to say so that's the Ulster Nimco and American Sipo so thank you for watching have a nice day and um, see you guys later so bye bye